Well, hello again. Uh, we're back. This is video five. In fact, we may do two of them, uh, 5A and a 5B, because I don't want it to be too long. So here's the program we have. We've got uh, all this. We've got these functions called in our loop. We're trying them out here. Hopefully they all ran for you. We've got our four basic movement functions. And we got a claw on our robot, too. So what if, what if, before going forward, we wanted to grab one of those little yellow balls that's in the uh, golf ball things that's in the uh, um, competition. First thing you're probably going to want to do is uh, uh, lower the claw, or let's say claw down. Oops. Notice I'm kind of building uh, um, our pseudo code here, so I want the claw to go down. Even before that, maybe I better open up the claw, because what if uh, the claw is closed? It just mushed the ball. So I'm going to say claw open. Again, using camel case. So I'm going to open the claw, then I'm going to go down, then I'm going to close the claw because I want to grab the ball. Okay. And then, ah, let's say let's go forward for two seconds at 75. Why not? Let's not go backwards yet. So let's say I went forward uh, for two seconds, and uh, then I waited for a little bit. Then I'm going to, because I want to drop the ball, I better put the claw down again. <coughs> and then I want to claw open to release the ball. And then I suppose I'd want to back up a little bit now so that I'm not uh, um, right on top of the ball. And I don't think I need to turn it all, so I'm going to get rid of these for now. <coughs> so there's a my pseudo code actually already in code format. Claw open, claw down, claw close. Go forward a little bit carrying the ball, then stop, and then put the lower the claw open the claw to drop the ball, then go backwards just a tiny bit. In fact, I'll make, I think I'll make this even smaller, so like 300. At speed, let's go back to speed 50. Power 50. Okay. This is actually the first step in the uh, typical autonomous program. First move. See how this would work. Now, we, we could try to um, do this right now, and of course it wouldn't work because uh, um, we haven't yet defined these four functions. Open, down, close, Oops, I think I forgot a claw up, because we don't want to be dragging this thing on the ground, do we? Oops. Claw up. Pick the claw up so we're not dragging the ball on the ground, we might lose it. Then we go forward, then we go down again, then open the claw, and then go backwards. Okay, so we got four new functions we want to define. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Void. Claw. Open. Let's do that one first. Claw open. And my uh, there's my parentheses, and there's my squirrely brace, and my matching bracket. My code goes in here. I don't have anything to write yet, so I'm going to put in here to do. That's real common. So if I was to uh, copy this now, oh, by the way, notice there's no parameters in here. That's because I'm just going to give it a set value. Open, I want to open so far, close so far, and so on and so forth. Okay. So let's copy this. And make it just say claw close. <clears throat> let's make another one. We're going to call this one claw down. And one more claw up. Now, none of these four functions do anything yet. But the funny thing is, this would compile right now if we tried to compile, because we've got all those functions defined that are called. Now we want to fill in what to do there. Sadly, there's not an activity that does exactly that. So this is where we're going to do something a little different now. We're going to search for the nearest close thing and actually figure out what to do in each one of these. And again, chances are we're only going to get the claw open done first in this first five minutes. 
and then we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, um, the other three pretty quickly. So you're going to go to File, Examples, Pulse, Programming Guide, Activity 3. Click on that, open it up, and what will come up is this guy. Activity 3. And what we want to use this for is, look at this now, this actually shows us how to open and close a servo, which is what is on our robot for the claw open close and the claw up and down. Notice what they do. If this claw was in, if the motor was plugged into port 1, it says, this one says, make it speed 25%. Then this says over and over again, open all the way up to 180, then go all the way the other way to 0, 180 degrees, 0 degrees. Typically, servos can only go through 180 degrees. I'm going to change the uh, um, time on that so I can tell them apart. And I'm going to put a comment out here. Claw open, because I don't really know that for sure, but this is what we think is going to happen. Okay. We're going to put a value in there of the, some different value for you to try to figure this out. So. Um, I'm going to guess here, and I'm going to say this is probably going to be closer to 130. This is probably going to be closer to about 80. And let's try it. So we should compile this, and then put it onto our robot, and actually try it. Keep guessing and checking these two numbers until we have the right numbers for what it takes to open the claw, what it takes to cl close the claw. Okay? That's going to take a while, guessing and checking. You take some numbers in, send it to your robot, and see what happens. Again and again and again until you get it. It could be something like this, okay? After you've got the exact numbers, I'm going to assume these are those, then what you do, first off, let's get this. I'm going to copy this from this program, put it over in our program in the same place, which was clear up in the setup after pulse begin. Okay, so I'm going to set servo speed of servo in port 1 to 25. Then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to put in the code from the other part. So let's say this is the claw open. I'm just going to copy that. Once I've determined it experimentally what it is, and place the to-do with claw open. Then I'm also going to put a, a small um, delay here, say about a hundred, just to give it enough time to actually get there. Okay? And do the same thing with claw close. Go back to the other program. This was claw close, and I wished I would have actually copied that part also. On the other one, I'll fix that. So the clock close. And I'll compile it again, save it again, try it on my robot, make sure it works here. And notice in our main program, it'll open, close. This up and down stuff is not going to work yet because we haven't defined them yet. That's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'll talk about that in the next one. We're at, uh, what, eight minutes, so it's time to quit here now. We're going to go on to, this was 5A, we're going to go on to 5B. So be sure you try this, compile it, try it, make sure it works, okay? And we'll stop there.